This is Twit. Philippe Khan, it is. Uh, first of all, you just validated everything I, <laughs> I believe in. I've bought every iteration of everything you've ever done. All of us have. But, I mean, I'm going back to Turbo Pascal and Sidekick, the Starfish synchronization stuff, you, Motion X. Uh, the world would be a very different place without Philippe Khan. And I don't know how many people realize that but i hope a few more realize it you know what we're doing right now more importantly than motion x is we've been spending the last 10 years on understanding human sleep and so that's a very difficult yes. challenge yes. and because we we spend a third of our life sleeping but we don't know much it's like the deep ocean only we know we we don't remember because that's part of the sleep experience and a lot of the analysis that exists uh, called polysomnography that you get when you get to a, a sleep specialist is 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 um, um, invasive in the way that, you know, they wire you in such a way that that it, you're not measuring your actual sleep every day. You're measuring your disturbed sleep in a little right. office at, right. uh, at a doctor. And then they prescribe you with a CPAP machine and say, OK, now for the rest of your life, you have to sleep with this uh, crutch with you and if you don't do that you might have an accident and what we're we're trying to is turn this around and says well let's find out what sleeps really uh what happens in your environment let's not rely on myths like the myth of the eight hour um uh, uninterrupted night of sleep you know when is it from an evolutionary standpoint that um, uh, anyone said that you had to sleep eight hours. No one ever did that. And in fact, you know, when is it that people are supposed to sleep in a perfectly dark, perfectly quiet uh, environment? Uh, humans have evolved sleeping in communal bedrooms uh, where That's five, right. six, yeah. ten people would sleep at the same time. Yeah. Uh, there was someone standing guard because a saber-toothed tiger wanted to get into the cave to eat, to get their dinner during night, um, uh, some of the group there was uh, was uh, hunting at night because that's where the preferred time to hunt. So obviously they worked a graveyard shift. They were hunters and they sleep during the day. Um, uh, most people uh, had interrupted sleep. Uh, where is that idea of the the, the myth of the eight hour? How do you sleep, night? Philippe? Do you do a, a, the dual sleep? thing where you sleep four hours awake a few hours and go back to sleep or that's what i do yeah i, I yeah. sleep in in two or three shifts um uh, learn that sailing across oceans oh yeah you have to <laughs> you have to and stand watch you have to. Yeah. well it, that, that's exactly right and so especially when there's only two of you on the boat yeah uh <laughs> there's always one that has to be up right and and uh you never see each other when there's two of you up because as soon as one is up, the other one goes to sleep. Uh, so, um, so you're a polyphasic uh, sleeper. Well, that's true. Uh, so the way that works is that is the you know we sleep in our in our in our sleep we um, there, there are multiple cycles. You know, they goes from you you fall asleep, then you get into deeper sleep. Then you come up and then you get this phase called REM sleep, which is where you dream and you go back to a deeper sleep, et cetera. And you go through these cycles. Most people last 45 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes per cycle. And pretty much every day if you have to sleep for about four, at least four of these cycles and at most six of these cycles uh, to be rested and to, to recoup and rebuild yourself. Uh, different phases of sleep are meant to rebuild different different parts of of you. You know, REM, the the dreaming part is is rebuilding your psyche. Uh, deep sleep is rebuilding your body. I mean, you know. So it, we're very well engineered uh, by Mr. Darwin or people like that, God, whoever it is, and um, and so um, we're engineered in a way that we we. We're, we're made to rebuild during the night. But so if you have more than six cycles, uh, you know, it shows that people start having nightmares and all that because it's too much. Interesting. Uh, and, and if you have too, too little, you're, you're not right. Um, unlike what people think, American sleepers sleep more than anybody else on the planet. Uh, 
we we have recorded over 100 million nights of sleep, actually 500 million nights of sleep. Wow. We found that the average American sleeps about, actually spends eight, about eight hours in their bedroom, a third of their lives, but sleeps uh, about six hours and 30 minutes, a little more on weekends, a uh, little, you know, we can even see during weekdays on the average, you know, who sleeps most, et cetera. But my point is that in, in Europe, they sleep less, and in Asia, they sleep even less. Huh. And 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 so, um, you know, we, we're doing pretty well in some ways in sleep, but we are traumatized by the myth that if we have interrupted sleep, something's wrong with us. And that's that that's that's not correct. And and I think that, you know, um, respiratory events during the night. Uh, can be monitored. And some people obviously need CPAP machines, but CPAP machines are prescribed to so many people now. It's such a big industry and 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 profitable industry that we think that they're overprescribed, like everything else. And you know, because it's a business opportunity for people, whether it's your your uh, your uh, local physician who gets a cut in every on every machine. And now, of course, the machines come with uh, something that follows you and that monitors you where you have to pay a subscription and all that. So it's it's a little bit like like people with diabetes and taking insulin. Once they do that, the insulin makers think that they, they're going to sell you insulin yeah. until you die. Yeah. And uh, so it's almost, a, it's almost a business model. And I think that's not right. I think that we can do better for Mrs. and Mr. Everyone by giving them the opportunity to manage, monitor their own sleep, understand it better, and then decide what they want to do as opposed to be told, this is what you should do because this is the truth. And the knowledge that the medical community has on sleep is fairly limited. Uh, the, the science that we derive out of 100 millions of nights of sleep is extraordinary in the following way. For example, my sleep gets scored every night with our system. Uh, by the way, our system is is is, is sold by uh, uh, Beauty Rest and is it's on Amazon. You can buy it for for probably hundred bucks. Oh, so I don't have to get a Serta Simmons mattress. I could get something that I, I know, put under my mattress. It works with every. It works okay. with every, I'm every. Buying it right now. <laughs> it works with every. No, I'll send you one. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Just tell me what's the name of it. It's called a sleep tracker. 